In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this Instagram inspired name tag effect right inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe After Effects and you've got some footage on your timeline, we can just first begin by hiding this. So we're just gonna turn this layer off for now. And we're just going to begin by creating a brand new rounded rectangle. So select this rectangle mask tool, we'll drag this down to find the rounded rectangle tool. Now we'll go to fill and we'll change the fill color to a dark gray. So we'll select around here and make note of this color here. So select this color, command C to copy that and press OK. Then we'll go into stroke and we'll select no stroke. Now from here, we're just going to draw a rounded rectangle in the middle of our composition. So around there. If you need to turn the proportional grid on, then feel free if you need to use that as some sort of reference. And then from there, we're just going to deselect that. We'll go back into that tool, but then we'll go to the right and select the pen tool. And we're just going to draw a triangle. So select a point in the middle. I'm going to select this top point here. We'll go to the left and we'll just draw this triangle. So if I turn off the proportional grid, this is what this looks like. Of course, if this is too big or too wide or too narrow or whatever you need to do, just go ahead and correct that. So once you're happy with the look of that, you can just turn off the proportional grid and we can just link these two layers together. So select both layers, right click and select pre-compose. OK, so we've now got this tag layer on its own pre-composition. From here, we'll go into the T icon, select on this gray box and we'll just type out the Instagram username or the name tag of choice. So I'm going to do Brooker Films. At the moment it is way too big, so we'll go into the character window. If you can't see the character window, then just go up into window and make sure character is ticked. Then we'll just decrease the font. Just drag that into the middle so we can see what we're doing. I'm going to turn off the bold layer and then I'm just going to add a little bit of separation by pulling on this VA button. And then I'll increase the font just a little bit more. And that is about right. So there you go, we've got our text and we've got our text box. So from here, we're just going to select the text layer and we'll select the pre-comp and we'll pre-comp these together as well. So pre-compose and we'll select this and name it as a name tag. Now we can turn our footage layer back on and you can see we've got our name tag and then we've got our footage. So to begin with, we're just going to press S on the keyboard to load scale. We'll decrease the scale to a sensible number. So around 37%. We'll go roughly half a second in towards the right. Create a brand new keyframe on the scale. Then we're going to go to the left by four frames. One, two, three, four. We'll increase the scale just a little bit. So we'll go up to 42. Then we'll go six frames to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we'll pull this down to zero. So at the moment, this is bouncing up. But the problem is the name tags on Instagram don't pop up from the middle like that. They almost drop down from the triangle point of the tag. So we'll go into the name tag pre-comp. We'll select this drop down arrow, select the anchor point, and the anchor point is this point, which is currently sitting on the E. And this is where all of the animation happens from. So if the anchor point was in the middle of this mouse, for example, everything would rotate around the middle of the mouse. But if the anchor point was on the top left or your top right, it would animate from that point. So using that theory, we're going to pull the anchor point down. So we'll pull it down so that this anchor point sits on top of this triangle. And when we play this back, you'll notice it is now animating from the top. So if I just zoom back out and we go from the very beginning, the name tag has popped in. Now from here, I'm just going to add some keyframe interpolation and some motion blur. So firstly, we'll select all of the keyframes that we created. We'll right click, select keyframe assistant and select easy ease. Essentially, this is going to allow us to naturally ease in and out of each keyframe. The movement is a lot more natural with this keyframe interpolation. And then from there, we're going to select toggle switches slash modes if you can't see the motion blur menu. But if you can, don't worry. Turn the motion blur on for this layer and then make sure this symbol turns blur. 
and that is going to give us motion blur on that symbol there, which looks a lot better. Then of course, we do need to animate out. So once you've left that on screen for the amount of time that you need it there for, we'll just press S on the keyboard to load scale, creates a brand new keyframe on scale, move to the right a few frames and pull this down to zero and it should disappear back up to where the anchor point is set to. So it holds and then disappears again. Now, if you wanted to add a little bit of transparency onto this gray and not the text, then you can just go into the name tag pre-comp and then you can just press T on the keyboard selecting the pre-comp and just pull this down just a little bit. So we'll pull this down to around 60%. Now, when we go back to the main composition, you can see the text is solid, but the box that the text is in is more transparent. Now we're gonna do one more thing to really help to take this to the next level, and that is to add some drop shadow. So we'll go into effects and presets, search for drop shadow, and we'll pull drop shadow onto our name tag pre-comp. And instantly you can see it hasn't really done a lot. You can see it's added a little bit, but we want this to be more noticeable. So we're going to increase the opacity to 100% for now. We'll increase the distance. So we'll pull the distance down to around 20 or so. Then we'll increase the softness and we'll increase that up to around 70%. And then when we zoom back out, we can really make a decision on how intense we want this to be. So we can pull this down. We'll pull the opacity down to around 60 or 70. And that looks a lot better. And there you go. If I play this back, you can see we've got this name tag popping up. It holds there and disappears again. And that is going to look really awesome in your video. So there you go. Thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.